I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we will try to find the kernel of a linear transformation. So let's take a linear transformation from R3 to R3, defined by L of a vector x, y, z equals a vector x plus y, x plus z, 2x plus y plus z. So this will be a linear transformation. I'll leave that to you to verify. We would like to find the kernel of the linear transformation. So the kernel of a transformation is the set of all vectors in the input space, in this case the set of all vectors in R3, such that L of V is equal to the zero vector which in this case is, in R3, the vector 0, 0, 0. So in general, the kernel is all input vectors which give the zero vector as output. So in this case, the set of all vectors in R3, which yield 0, 0, 0. So in this example, if a vector x, y, z were in the kernel, then the output vector would be 0, 0, 0. So which vectors will have that property? We solve the system x plus y equals 0, x plus z equals 0, and 2x plus y plus z equals 0. So I hope you noticed when I was writing these that this last equation, this last uh, component here, was simply the sum of the first two. If you didn't notice it at first, I have a look at it now. If you add x plus y and x plus z, you get 2x plus y plus z. So in other words, in this system, if we were subtract, to subtract from the third equation the first equation, and then subtract the second equation from the third equation, we would be left with 0 equals 0. So this equation is not giving us any information, and our system is equivalent to just the first two equations x plus y equals 0, and x plus z is equal to 0. So in this system, if we let x equal any number, t, then y is equal to its negative, and so is z. So a solution to the system is x, y, z equals t, negative t, negative t, which is t times 1, negative 1, negative 1. So any vector of that form will have the property that L of that vector will be 0, 0, 0. So in other words, the kernel of L is the set of all vectors of the form T, 1, minus 1, 1. Such that T is any scale. In other words, the kernel of L is the span of the vector, that should be 1 minus 1 minus 1. The, the kernel of L is the span of the vector 1, negative 1, negative 1. And that makes it one dimension. The dimension of the kernel of L is 1. So one last comment. Uh, the kernel of L always contains the zero vector. In a linear transformation, uh, if you input the zero vector, you will always output the zero vector. So the zero vector will always be in the kernel of any linear transformation. Now, in this case, there are many other vectors in the kernel, including this one that you see here. And when the kernel contains more vectors than just the zero vector, then that means that the linear transformation L is not one to one. The linear transformation is not one to one if the, if the kernel contains uh, more than just the zero vector. Okay, that's a little look into the kernel of a linear transformation. Thank you for watching.